Yeah, so the first pickup is the Hamalang 1999 AW M69 flak jacket made from, I guess, one of the Hamalang's iconic seasons. So I've been looking for this jacket in different colors first throughout the year of 2020, but then I missed on three good deals in Japan. That was around the $700 to $800 mark. And then later, Travis Scott wore the Olive one around September, November-ish, and then kind of the price skyrocketed afterwards. So I knew there was one in uh, Laila, Tokyo. Before I thought it was quite expensive. Now it seems kind of the market price. So I just decided to go to Laila, Tokyo to buy it, as you may have seen from my vlogs. So the jacket itself is inspired by the US M69 flak vest issued for the Vietnam War. And Hamulang, I guess, reinterpreted that military piece into his own. And he did make in different fabrics. So the blacks and the olive one is actually made from vintage cotton. This one, the creamish color is made from ballistic nylon. So this one is quite unique in its own sense. And the jacket itself has the details of the corset on the sides where you can, I guess, strap it up a little bit. And has a 3D pocket on the chest. Now there's the zippers and the button closure. And the button part is actually reinforced with the nylon webbing tape. And along the sleeves and the back, upper part of the back is reinforced with the darts to optimize movement. And the inner part can be detachable, the inner vest. And then it reveals the, uh, the straps the parachute straps where you can wear it as a backpack, one of the signature designs of Helmut Lang. And yeah, so I really like this jacket. The color is beautiful, creamish, beige-ish color. It's quite warm for the winter as well. It's a little padded. Short, cropped, kind of oversized in the shoulders. Mine's a size 44. So as you can see, it doesn't really fit so small. So great sizing. I think I could have done a 46 as well. I think 48 would have been kind of too big for me. So great. I'm actually getting caught here, but okay. Yeah, so the next cop is from Raph Simmons, 18 AW, the Kaban coat. Now this coat was came out in three colors, blue, red, and black. Uh, the blue one was quite rare when it released and especially in this size I got picked up a size 44 as you can see uh, it does fit very oversized it's made it's made from mohair and virgin wool beautiful fabric beautiful construction beautiful hardware the, especially the buttons is quite amazing uh, the Surprising part of this jacket is actually he constructed it in a reversible construction. So basically it can be reversible. I've actually never worn it on the other side, but let me just show you. The lining is like in this silver polyester lining. But in the inside, there's like this multiple pockets here, like here as well. It keeps you very warm actually in the winter. So I'm actually wearing this quite often these days. I think it's one of the favorite cops that I did this season. Not this season, but I mean last year. The beautiful part of this coat is that the pocket shape and like the sleeve angle is kind of like exactly the same. It's very aesthetically like visually pleasing to see. And yeah, it's just such a beautiful color, like such a beautiful color. 
Yeah, so the next one is the Balenciaga 17 Spring Summer, 2017 Spring Summer, the Barracuda Jacket. Now, this season was quite iconic as it was Denna's first menswear season in Balenciaga. So I know a lot of my friends, a lot of other people is quite on the search of collecting pieces from this season as there are so many future grills. Now this one, this jacket, uh, was inspired by the Barracuda G9 Harrington jacket. Demna interpreted this jacket in his own, I guess, design language, which is the exaggerated shoulders, which can be seen throughout this, I guess, uh, 2017 spring summer collection. Now the Barracuda jacket, this one is a size small, as you can see, it does fit quite oversized and very, very cropped. I would have liked to try it on the medium to see uh, how how the fit differs, but I didn't really have a choice, so I picked up a size small. Uh, I'm totally fine with it. Uh, the jacket itself, very beautiful, like this wine colored fabric. And let me try to close it up and show you how it looks with the neck collar. Now a similar jacket from this collection would be the MA1 bomber jacket and the green and the black colorway. Now that one's more of the like a MA1. It's made from nylon. This one is what was it? I think this was uh, this is just cut in a polyester. Nothing really much to talk more about this jacket. I mean, it's, Huh? Yes, so boots pick up. Wow, like I've been looking for these boots for such a long time in my size. This is the Phoebe Philo Celine's uh, outdoor boots. Now, in a size 41, as you know, like Phoebe didn't really make menswear. So it was very hard to find a size of 41 and a 42, which is kind of the biggest size the shoes comes out. Uh, so I've been searching for quite a while. Last year I had a chance to buy one, but then what happened was I kind of lowballed that person kind of too much. And then the seller, I think kind of got pissed at and decided to immediately take the, pe the other pending offer and then it's kind of sold him. And then I regret it so much that I like promised to myself whenever, if I see this once more, like I'm just gonna buy it straight away. And that's what happened. So I did pay quite a lot of money for this, but no regrets as this is such a beautiful shaped duck boots. I guess this was inspired by the duck boots from like LLB. You can find very similar designs everywhere. The most notable one would be, I guess, the Easy 950. Now, the difference would be like the Easy 950 has a little bit more wider entrance here. So it does look a little bit more bulky. The reason why I li like this one was, I guess, its shape. Like, it's not as bulky. It's quite like tight in the ankle area, which makes the shape so aesthetically pleasing and I guess just a big fan of Celine with the accent thanks to my girlfriend so now the surprising part when I received it was actually it's kind of like more of a winter boots so the tongue is kind of like lined with fur so amazing yeah, so the next pickup is the Gucci embroidery denim that came out in, I think, 2017, I believe. I owned this pair of jeans before when it first released, and I ended up selling it after like a year or so. But as you know, there are some items that you kind of regret selling and it keeps coming back to you. So I decided to buy it back this time. And 
is just an incredible pair of denims and the embroidery quality is just on point like on the sides the kind of the red stitchings and they it leads up to like to this like green embroidery up top kind of like a plant and then there's like the flowers birds at the front of the denim and on the back as well i think my favorite part would be like kind of like this uh what is it this kind of plants that kind of like swirls up your leg from the bottom to the up to your thighs and on the back there would be the distresses and along the back as well there's several other embroideries i think along this season the snake denims the bee denims are quite popular um, this one i think retail like double those as well but this is by far the my favorite uh my favorite pair that came in those seasons yeah so the next jacket is is kiko costanino cp company the synthesis jacket in a size 48 as you can see the packaging is quite nice they gave like the full hanger and inside there's like this backpack thing additional backpack where you can put the jacket in um, but I think this jacket when you first drop in the official website the it wasn't so hard to cop I think it sold out in the Kiko website within one hour in the CP company site I think it sold out 10 minutes I think not too fast not too slow I haven't had a chance to wear this a lot though, but when I did, I actually wore it once. And I do think this is one of the best jacket that Kiko has produced. And I was talking with Hoki uh, from ZSC as well. And I found that he bought this jacket as well. And we're like, we were just talking like, agreeing on like, that this is kind of like, in our opinion, one of the best jackets that he produced. The for this one, let me see where, where it is. Ah, uh, yeah. This one, it's actually the fabric was sourced from CP Company. It's this coated, color resistant internal coating, garment dyeing. So it's the color is just so beautiful in this signal green with the contrasted black lining zippers. Unfortunately, I think. The zippers and the hardware is YKK. Normally, when Kiko produces his main line, he normally uses Riri and Cobrax. However, I think if he used Riri and Cobrax for this jacket, I think the retail would have been like over 2K, which is why I think he used, uh, decided to go with this hardware. Regardless, I think the construction and the fabric itself is up there so that it's totally fine in that sense the sleeve articulation and the velcro straps along this end of the arm part can adjust the silhouette of the shape and then there's action piece on the shoulders so all of this i guess leads to a very comfortable fit regardless of the body type and what else could there be? Yes. And this jacket is so transformable, it's kind of quite confusing. Uh, basically this jacket was inspired by a motorcycle jacket and a fishtail parka. So this neck gaiter here can also be detachable. And the fishtail parka, if you, there's this like internal snaps where you can unsnap everything and then a inner garment comes out leading and then making the transforming the garment into like this a fishtail shape fishtail parka shape very beautiful but yeah i think the this fabric itself and like this piece itself will age beautifully as the years go by definitely i can see it becoming a very future archive piece for sure 
The Pockets is, has a very interesting shape. Very similar to my Per Gotesen Aviator Jacket Pocket shape. And yeah, I think that would be all for this.